Morning, day five, you are halfway there. I'm sure you're feeling good. You should be definitely feeling a lot less bloated. You may be a little constipated because that sometimes comes with the keto diet. Um, but you should certainly feel your clothes getting a little bit looser. It's five days, no sugar, no carbs. You should definitely be feeling a little things. Your body may even be in ketosis by now. Might not, but it could possibly be. And if that is something that you are interested in finding out, at the drugstore at Walmart, you can buy a little container of keto sticks. They're about $15 for a hundred of them. And you just pee on the stick and the color is an indicator of whether or not you have ketones in your body. Um, simple, but at least you know, yes, I'm in ketosis by what the color. If there's no color, you're not in ketosis. If there's a color, you're in ketosis. Very simple, but that is all I ever used. I never got into the blood glucose meters or, or the mojos. I'm just not into finger pricking and that kind of thing. So I have just gone with the sticks and the sticks have been great for me because I can usually get myself back in within about four days. So uh, it is a price that you pay though. So if you decide to go out and have that cheat meal, there is a price that you will pay to get back into ketosis, but it's okay because you can do that, because you have to be able to live your life. So hopefully you're feeling that. The less bloated, um, you may be a little headachy. You may have a little bit of keto flu. Um, again, which is normal, drink more water, have a little rest, be kind, be kind to yourself. Take a day, get yourself a nice hot bath, have a bubble bath, do something that makes you feel good. Um, and it's very normal. Your body is detoxing and again, it will pass. So what are we having today? Again, dog's dinner, starting off with my glass of water, having my keto tea. Um, today though, I am having pizza and I am having that with a cauliflower crust. So I'm going to make pizza. I have a tomato sauce with no sugar in it and uh, my mozzarella cheese. And I'm sure I might put a little bit of feta on that, some basil and uh, some veggies, some peppers and pepperoni. You can have some prosciutto. I'm gonna load that sucker up and I'm gonna eat half that pizza. And uh, I think I have a little bit of jello left over. So I'm gonna have a little jello and whipped cream for dessert before I push that fasting button to get on with tomorrow. So today, what are we gonna do for exercises? We're gonna do some squats. So again, you're all holding that stomach in, right? right? You're doing that whenever you think about it, right? Right? So every time, think about holding that stomach in. So we're going to do a squat. In order to do a good squat, you want to make sure that your knees do not go out past your toes. So in order to do that, you're going to push your butt out farther. So I want, we're going to go up and down and we're going to squat. Now I hope that you're letting me know how you're making out, what you're needing, what you're getting out of this, whether you're finding this little chats in the morning informative, whether you would rather I talk about something different instead of, uh, you know, what I'm telling you now, but I want you to know that the end is coming because you're halfway there. So we only have to get through five more days of this. So five more days of feeling better, of eating healthy, of doing some things for you. There is nothing wrong with that. It is the best thing in the world. We're gonna do five more, and then we're gonna get on with our day because you know what? I got things to do. Last one, make it good, squeeze. And you have a great workout and an awesome day.